Brian and Kenzie in the morning and Chicago's alternative all day. Q101. It's Brian and Kenzie on Q101. A little bit late on this one. We had a little struggle uh, getting set up here for the Q Olympics, but mm -hmm. we're ready. Mm -hmm. The struggle was taping a shooting target to our sound baffling walls. It kept falling, uh, but we, now we got it up. So what we're doing today as part of the Q Olympics where we've done things every day around 8.50 with Brian and Kenzie on Q101 is an event we can do here in the studio. And we have a gold, a silver, and a bronze for Brian, Kenzie, or Case, depending on how we finish the event. Uh, I'm at no gold medals. I have plenty of silvers. And there has been some controversy with some people possibly being disqualified for certain moves, but it hasn't happened yet. The commission will probably review this. Maybe in a couple years we'll know to come back and change the medal count. Mm -hmm. You know what I call silver medalists? What's that? First losers. Hmm. Well, listen. <laughs> what do you call I, bronze? Because this is the most. Dumb. Second losers. <laughs> huh. I do this for America. Oh, well, America's not in good shape right now, yeah. Ryan. But the, but, the, but the medals are subjective. Well, no, they're not. I've what trained, you, Wait, I've trained for years in all these events, and it's my my sweat, my blood, my tears yeah. that have people have appreciated mm -hmm. for what I've done in these events. Yeah. Like like the twenty yard dash yesterday, Naturally. Where, where I looked like Ricky and Boys in the Hood and before he got shot. Tore a hamstring. You tried. You tried. I'm trying in all of them. I'm trying hard. I don't know why I'm losing. <laughs> but today we're doing. Today we're doing uh, because it went viral over the overnight. Each we kind of tied in with the Olympics going on. Uh, Turkey. There's a shooting competition in the Olympics. You know that? I did. Mm -hmm. Where you just got to pull the guns out and shoot? Because I want to know if that's their full-time job or if being an Olympic athlete in the archery or shooting categories is just more of a passion project. Well, there's a guy from Turkey uh, who won the silver. His name is uh, Yusuf Dicec. And he, in the shooting competition, they wear these weird glasses. So one eye can aim for the target. Mm -hmm. And this guy strolled up and pulled out like, glasses that I wear when I drive and just yeah. kind of pulled them up and took the gun out, <laughs> fired from the hip, <laughs> and he got the silver. He's got, like, he Walgreens cheaters glasses. Yeah. <laughs> this guy is awesome. He looks so good. And so that's why we're doing, we're doing a shooting competition here today. With real guns. <laughs> That'd be so cool. It was BYOG. <laughs> We can't kill my girl Terry and her, from uh, the traffic spots whose where office is down the That's road. Right, there. No, I don't want to kill Terry. The bullet goes through the wall. <laughs> so we're using the Nerf gun that my wife got me for Easter a couple of years ago in my Easter basket. That's what it's... Jesus would have wanted. <laughs> Jesus loves Nerf guns. He yes. does. Not real guns. No, yes. but he loves <laughs> Nerf guns. He thinks it's such a healthy alternative. Yeah. <laughs> so we're each going to shoot. Kenzie made this beautiful target. It's handmade, much like our metal board. This has become... <laughs> So much work for me. I couldn't. Uh, I can't believe how much arts and crafts is involved in the Olympics. You've I didn't really, know. Really gone above and beyond. I know. So we're gonna shoot one by one and see who gets the best score on the target in honor. Uh, and we're not wearing any special glasses. Well, I've got sunglasses. Can I put on sunglasses? You can do whatever you, you, can do whatever you want. Whatever you want to win. Okay. Except Oop. stand close to the target. You can't like stand right in front of it. <laughs> I choose here. So three shots at the target for a high score. We have uh, targeted areas for the scores. Let's yes. So it is a three ring target. If you don't hit any of the cards. Colors, it's new points. Mm. First ring is green. That right there is a five-pointer. The blue ring, as you can see, is a ten-pointer. And the bullseye, which is, of course, iconically red, is a 15-pointer. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who's going first? I've never fired a gun before. I don't know how it works. Okay, you're going to go first. Oh, no. You want to go first? Oh, I, I, I'll try to figure out how it works. Okay, well, you got to pull the thing back. All you do is a standard, it's a great Nerf gun. It's awesome. Uh, so we have uh, three shots. That's it. No practicing here. I will say it was my gun, but I haven't fired it in a while. So, uh, you know, there we go. Okay, I'm going to stand close to the board here. Okay. Um, and I mean our target. You stand close to the, the electronic board. Now, don't and, shoot Kenzie. Well, if you do, it's a Nerf. I'm not super stressed about uh -huh. the thing. Uh -huh. Um. I'm going to put little dots where case hits. Okay. So we can tally up the three darts after all of this. We might need Dan Purcell, the Olympic Committee, to come in here and verify things. Well, I don't know what stance to be in. You have to be all as far back. You're not standing there. You're going to stand all the way back. Yep. There you go. Nope. Even before that, to not. Just, there you go. We're going to go as far away as we can here. Watch his feet, Brian. You're in charge of that. I can't see those. Yeah, there's a shadow right there. That's the line. Okay. okay. Just checking. No okay, steps case. forward. Hold so on. When, when Okay, Kenzie's getting close, and she's, seriously, she's, you know, it's like you see a golf tournament, and those people sit right there by the golfer, and you go, God, they're going to get hit. Kenzie's going to get hit when she's standing right <laughs> It's a Nerf gun. Why do you look like men in black? You're really going to put your sunglasses on? 
All right, so case uh, three shots. The sunglasses are for focus. Uh huh. He's blocking out all the noise, as they say. <laughs> and the haters specifically. I'm blocking out all the haters. <laughs> those, those hater blocker Oakleys. <laughs> All right, Case, go ahead. Take your three shots. Kenzie, uh, make sure you mark. I'm looking carefully here trying to help. That, oh, that was a green, I believe. That was a green he hit there. You still, are you still shooting? Oh, okay. He's got a green. It's really hard to film and track. Yeah. That was the floor. That nothing. Uh-huh. And that was the TV. Case, that was five Based on the bullseye chart, as you can see right here. Okay. Five wow. Points. All the video of this will be up later on. Uh, so Case has five. He hit one. Uh, hit the target once in the green area. We'll, we'll reload the gun and get in here. Yes, okay. I apologize for not reloading the gun faster. That's okay. Kenzie, well, you up next. Well, the you got to pick up all the darts everywhere. It's a pain in the ass. I went last yesterday, Kenzie. Darts. What's over there? Kenzie, do you want to go last this time? Sure. Okay, so I'm going to go next here. Is it reloaded? Okay. Gun's reloaded. Switch spots with me. I'm going to note... That uh, with my street cred, I'm holding this gun sideways. <laughs> <laughs> to continue the boys in the hood theme from yesterday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you can't stand right there. I'm not standing there. Okay. I was just, I always shot Kenzie in the face. Do you have like a bull's knit cap that you can wear like the guy that shot uh, oh. Ricky and boys in the hood? <laughs> okay, hold on. In okay. case you have to help me monitor this because I'm filming. I gotcha. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, I, I was ready, waiting this for my whole Still life. Still shot. Yep. Brian's first shot incoming, oh, and it okay. hits the wall. It was worse than anything I did. Well, that's why Ricky uh, should have lived. <laughs> there we go. The gun is sideways. Brian's second shot. Oh, oh. off the wall again. Sideways. You could still, you could still have more points than Case if you hit blue or red. Sideways might be a bad idea, but it looks cool. Yeah, oh, well, it looks way cooler. Yeah, you look super bad. Your final right shot. Because you're too short, Eddie Bowers. <laughs> Oh, blue. oh, Brian blue, nailed baby. the blue. Blue, let's go. Brian is in the lead now, 10 to 5. Okay. Okay, okay. ready? All right, I'm, I know what. Case, are you going to pick up his bullets? Yes, he is. Well, he's got to run the show. <laughs> Case right. won't pick up my bullets. I want you to know that. He's so just going to walk out when I'm done. I'll tell you what we'll do. So I'm in the silver position. Case is in the bronze position right now. Um, we'll come back here in you three can't minutes. Find the rest of the bullets. Okay, Case wants to find the bullets. We'll come back and then Kenzie will shoot for the gold. We'll see who wins. The Brian and Kenzie Show. Q101. It's Brian and Kenzie on Q101, the Q Olympics in full effect, and we're doing a shooting competition right now with a target. Real uh, guns. Uh, <laughs> Nerf gun. A shout out to Ivan who checked in uh, from Mount Prospect. As we shoot here, he said, Brian's about to pull an Alec Baldwin here. <laughs> Kenzie was really close to the target. <laughs> but she was taking notes. But you not... held it sideways at my face. I was very McLovin and super bad. <laughs> Break yourself, fool! <laughs> so... That's a lot of pent-up aggression. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I love this event. So right now, I'm in the lead with 10. Uh, case as a 5. Yes. And we'll see what Kenzie can do because there's a red, blue, and a green. Yes. What are the, what are the red, blue, and green again, okay, Kenzie? so green is your outer ring right there, as you can see. <laughs> and that is 5 points. Blue is the middle ring that's coming in at 10. And, of course, red is the iconic bullseye color. That is 15 points. If you miss all of those colors, you're getting nothing. Now, if we tie, Kenzie, do we have a shoot-off for one shot or something? Or so? Probably. If we tie, I think a shoot-off. Or, or Kenzie wins with a bullseye or a combination with three shots of maybe a blue and a, a green now, or something. Now, you guys both had two shots that you completely missed. Yeah. So what if I could say? try to hit the board more, that would help. So I can't aim anything? I'm just, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's a recap. It's an instant replay, if you will. All right. Well, let's okay. go here, Kenzie. And now you have Case there, so you know, you, you know one can go straight there. Ready? Collateral damage. So Case, Kenzie's behind the target. Here we go. I was out. Hold on. Oh, she's going fast. Oh, she got the red. She did it. I can't. Oh. Stop it. Stop shooting. <laughs> stop <laughs> shooting. I, I can't believe two missed the target completely. <laughs> and she gets a red, the 15. Yeah. That's terrible. I mean, congratulations. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Wow. She shot really fast. I'm really good at that. Well, I don't want to say I'm really good at shooting because it has negative context, but, two, but, but two I'm pretty good at shooting. Two completely missed the target in her last shot, hit the red and the bullseye. And once again, Kenzie wrecks up another gold. I Woo! get a silver in case gets a bronze. Today's Q Olympics, and you can see the recap of the video shortly at Q101's Facebook page. Now, coming up for all y'all at home, 
We have the Ticket Blitz Thursday continuing for a chance to go see Bush, Jerry Cantrell from Allison Chains and Candlebox. In just about six minutes here, we'll give you that key word, the new one for this hour. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. As we said, Lauren broadcasting live uh, down at Lollapalooza today and tomorrow, of course, and Saturday. Starts off the day right when you hear Lauren at Lollapalooza. Just kind of a comfort blanket seeing Lauren down there, hearing her, you know? It's also like, holy crap, weren't we just doing this? Lollapalooza, you, you mean? That feeling a little bit? It is August 1st. It's wild that it's Lollapalooza. What Lala. is happening? And just get ready because it's a long August of some of the most incredible music and bands that. You know, have those, for me anyway, I've seen them multiple times. You've got not only the Lollapalooza bands, but Metallica, Pumpkins, and Green Day, and Rancid, though, Tuesday after that. You've got Cage the Elephant coming up. You've got Pearl Jam. And all smashed in this August month that I want to see all again and so much. And I swear, all those bands are getting better. Mm -hmm. Every time I see them, they're better even, if that's possible. I hate to be that guy. There's some stuff coming people don't even know about yet, too. In the month of August. What is that? Do mean? I know about I it? I can't talk about you it. You didn't tell me. No, nah, takeaways, takeaways. Let's do takeaways. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You're in it for the money, not the music. Exactly. You're a sellout. Twister was on last night, and I turned it on right at that point. <laughs> He's in it for the money, not the, the science. science. <laughs> best movie ever. Son of a bitch. Better than Godfather, which uh, I've never seen. Well, that's all. Remember, tomorrow, Casey's going to watch Rocky somehow today between Lollapalooza. Uh, I saw, I love Rocky. You're going to want to work out after this, case. I'm going to watch Rocky at Lala. <laughs> <laughs> You're that guy walking around on your phone while doing something else while like, all the bands You're are playing. You're going to be such a pick-me. Like, I wish all this music wasn't happening so I could just focus. <laughs> so, 8 o'clock tomorrow, the Rocky review. And remember, if you're new to the show and go, why is that a big deal? Well, Case is 25 years old and hasn't seen any big movies. And Rocky is the number one request to see. And I can't wait to see that from a lens of a 25-year-old. All right, takeaways. Case, go. What do we got today? Joe and Downers Grove. Brian would rather stay home eating nachos naked than go to a Lala after show. I'm not 100% sure on that, <laughs> but the wife's out of town. Six months, first time I'm alone. I have an alone apartment. Woo-hoo! Can we check in on Facebook, all of us together tonight, and you just let us know. Take a photo just of the Metro. Just a picture of yeah. naked. Are you at the Metro, clothed, or at home naked? Will you please do that? Can you believe the plate of nachos is just going to be covering his penis? <laughs> it's going to be all nude. And it's like a plate right on top of it. And you guys don't understand how much I love the Deftones. <laughs> I thought you were going to say nachos. Well, I, I, that's the question. But that's the thing. That's you understand, what, that's where it gets tight. We're going to see who wins tonight. <laughs> it's like uh, a race. Uh, Kenzie, what do you got? Um, I'm pulling an audible. I'm changing mine. 773 texted and said so they really enjoyed the broadcast today from the Stab and Gammon. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Because I have another one that I usually, we talked about naming the studio with a nickname. The James and Sons Diamond Ring Studios is our, our glorious sponsor, but we thought maybe a nickname would be better. And uh, mine relates to that, Kenzie, too. I usually don't talk about stuff about, you know, us. We talk about the other people. But EJ checked in from ComEd. Can we rename Brian's Rogue the Stabbing Wagon? <laughs> <laughs> That's a certain possibility. Uh, <laughs> what do we got on the podcast? Well, what a day the Q Olympics continued. We have much more of that. Uh, we found out that nothing brings together a family quite like the Shed Aquarium and Hooters. That is Brian's <laughs> idea of a good day of parenting. Brian also, big day for Brian. He revealed these disturbing childhood drawings in the 6 o'clock hour. The things that he used to draw in his notebook instead of paying attention in class, which I'm still thinking about how weird it is that you did that. Hmm. All that is and more, including exclusive audio that you can only find on the Brian and Kinsey podcast from Chris, our crew member, a private investigator who weighed in on the mystery from Kinsey's crimes this past week. A lot there for you, and uh, we'll see you at Lala today. Brian and Kenzie in the morning, and Chicago's alternative all day. Q101.